for broke. He's going for a... It's either he goes to sleep or Mayol goes to sleep. That is Bannon Brown. Oh, he did connect with a couple of punches, right. but Mayol came right back at him. With me trying to work to the body, he's crowding Mayol, throws a low blow. Mayol connects with the left cross. The question is, can Mayol take a punch? It looks like he can. He didn't even win when he got hit by Pigney. But you know, he... Again, this is close range fighting one. This is the only way Pigney has a chance. He's crossed the third body, table. Hits, yeah. The thing about uh, Mayol is, you know, I don't think he's had to work so hard in his life to fight. That's right. He's throwing a lot of punches. The question is, is he going to get burned out before Pigney kisses the canvas once more? This is round number three of a fight that's scheduled for ten. It's obviously not going to go. That's right. Well, for Mayol, he needs a little bit of distance yes. to throw his punches. He's a combination fighter. He's not a close-range fighter. And I think Pigney realizes that. So he needs some distance. So you notice he sometimes takes a step back. Another great combination by Mayo. What a fight. Here we go, Pigney fighting back. Pick, oh, taking a beating right here. That was a fantastic right straight. He looped the shot. Oh, cracking right hand. Right hand coming from Mayo. You kind of wonder how come Pigney is on his feet. He's, He's down twice. One for every round. Against the rope. He's a sitting duck. You know, Mayol must be wondering what's keeping this man up. Look to the body. The nice thing about Mayol is he switches from the side of the head. He works to the body. He goes upstairs, downstairs. Good fight. Great jump. He's a little rough at the edges. But as just as you said, these are the diamonds of Cebu. We got to hold them a little. You can almost feel the pain in his guts. He pushed him down. He the count. He was pushed. He was pushed down. That shouldn't be a knockdown. That should not be a knockdown. There's a third knockdown of the fight. So one knockdown for every round. That should not have been knocked down. He was pushed down from the back of the head by Rodel Mayor. This is indeed KO at Antipolo. I tell you, this is fireworks. Looks like he's going to survive the third round, too. Picking more tired, down in each round. Question is standing. on his feet. Question is standing. Mayol has thrown everything he's got. Will he have more to put out, pick me one shy and put him to sleep? That's the big question. Oh, these are one of the lovely round girls here who are spicing Especially up the occasion. occasion. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 Bobby Grimald, not me. <laughs> don't blame me for these things or don't give me credit for something I did not do. Okay. Well, that was the knockdown that was scored, but you saw that he was, Pigney was pushed from the back of the head and he went down, but just the same, a count was made. Pigney, there you go. He was pushed. From another angle, okay. Now this is round number four. Rodel Mayol, Jerry Peñalosa is his idol. I spoke with him before this fight. Uh -huh. Mayol started his pro oh, career. Big B, that man connected with a good right uppercut. That was a good punch. Right uppercut really right. rocked Mayol for a little. I was saying, Ronnie, that uh, Mayol started his ring career in the stable of Tony Alvigero, a very good friend of ours. But this is his second fight now in uh, Terry, under Terry Carter's wing. Well, talking about Jerry Penelosa, he'll be fighting for the world title uh, September 24th in the Battle of Yokohama. As we see on Viva Television, IBC, Channel 13. So watch out for that. So far, points-wise, this has been a walk-away here for Rodel Mayol. But you see signs of Mayol slowing down here, Ronnie. Here in round number four, he's thrown everything he's got. Pigmy's still standing up. He's, he's pacing himself now. I think he's just going to look for the best possible shots. Well, he's, he's expending a lot of energy in this fight. That's for sure. Yes, because uh, Pigmy Wong Chai has made him work. I mean, he's ducked him down every time in each, each of the first three rounds, but Pigmy is still there, right in front of his, him, right in his face. And he keeps talking, Mayol. Pigmy connects with the good man, but his right is a bit wide. You know, Pigmy reminds me of a robot. He's running, and he just goes straight towards you. It doesn't matter whether you hit him or not. He's like a toy bulldog. Yeah. 
Stockley built. He's taken a lot of punishment here for my old buddy. Hey, he's still standing up. He's gone down each in every round so far. First three rounds. This is round number four. Will he go down again as Mayo goes to the body, but quickly comes back. You know, fight fans love this kind of thing. When two guys come out there ready to fight, ready to wage war. That's right. This is really a slugfest, as you've seen. Mayol, however, can't seem to find his range any longer. Yeah. He's he, still looking for that knockout punch, but he, you know, he's not coming. He looks a little tired right now. I mean, he's thrown everything, including the kitchen sink at Rodel at uh, Big Me Muang Chaya, but in this fourth round, he hasn't been able to, to deck him. But this is the same stand that Pigme showed against John Agombo. And Pigme looks a little, a little shaky here. And Mayol going a after him. Now, it's a body attack that he's launched here. And that's the thing that has helped him. You yeah. know, he's working with the body and Pigme ties him up. Body attack here from Mayol. Oh, oh he got left. hit that time. He's a, little, he's a little careless coming in. Yes. That's Rodel Mayol. He comes in, looks at a fighter, and he doesn't have his defense. He gets hit. First, that's the first round that Pigme survived without going down. Right. Now here's Take another round girl. Oh, that's not the round girl, that's Rodel Mayol. <laughs> <laughs> How could we have made a mistake? Oh, this is a lovely round girl. Let's take a look at her. Yes, one of the attractive round girls. She knows what it's all about. Wave to the fans. You need a break, don't you? Yes, yes, we all do. Get ready to rumble! This is round number five in the first of a quadruple main event in KO at Antipolo. By San Miguel Pier, uh, Buckcore, Red Bull, fans from No Fear, and several other fine sponsors putting help us put this together. See the records of both these fighters. My all rated number one in the Philippines and uh, Pygmy rated number two in Thailand. Uh, My all has shifted his attack to the body very, very clearly. An adjustment in his, in his offensive strategy. Uh, no doubt, uh, the tournament of Mayol, Brick Flores realized that the headshots weren't going to put Pygmy away. It had so to be the body. That's right. So the adjustment is go for the body and the head will fall. That was a good right by Pygmy, a right cross by Pygmy. Caught uh, Mayol flush in the side of the face. So Pygmy very slowly is coming back. I mean, he, he's, he's, gonna... he's waiting for Mayol to tire out. Mayol tries to throw long one. Pygmy keeps coming in. The thing about makes the job of Mayol a little easier is the fact that Pygmy is here to fight. He keeps coming forward all the time. So if you count the punches and his timing is good, Pygmy should go down. But some sting has been lost. I think so. I think the pace has also slowed down. Here. Yes. Very clearly. The Another pace low blow by Mayol. That was a low blow. And a right hand. I thought the left was low. Or two, but I thought the body shots started to take their toll here. Pigby, even before this round, he looked really, really winded. Yeah. Not because he was losing air in his lungs, but because of all the pounding on his midsection. Here we go, my all. On the attack, going to the body. Now, Pigby trying to time up to, to get a little breathing space here with about 55 seconds remaining in round number five of the fight that's scheduled for 10. This is KO at Antipolo. Oh, he, dropped right. him, he dropped him again. He dropped him again. That's right. The referee Vera Bynes are signaling the end to this. The same, the same ending as in the fight against Joma Gamboa. Pigby knocked out in the fifth round. Two knockdowns here in the fifth round to end it all. Referee Vera Bynes ending the massacre. But you got to hand it to Pigby. He went down in the first round but came right back up to turn this into a slugfest. We will take a break and come back with KO at Antipolo in just a moment. Here we have a slow-mo action. That was a low. I told you the yeah. low blow. The left was very, very low. Even the right was low. He went down. That he was a low down. blow. Yeah. But he had just taken so much of a beating in the midsection. It, just, it was inevitable that he was going to go down. Here we see another shot to the side of the body. And a shot to the side of the head, and that was it. That was that. That was over. And Vera Barnes uh, did the right thing, although I thought they were low blows. 
Ladies and gentlemen, your official time is 2 minutes and 15 seconds in round number 5. Winner by technical knockout and still undefeated on his 8th professional fight, Rodel Mayor!